fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to show you the finish of my first Paint Gem mini set. I gotta say right off the bat, ooh, one, I'm glad to be home and back in my regular filming setup. That aside, I actually really liked these Paint Gem minis much more than I thought I would. Now, I thought they were round, they are not, they are square. As far as I can tell, I think almost all of them are square. And they're little mini kits. They don't take very long. They are kind of pricey, not gonna lie, but I will say they're packaged extremely well. You get this little, these little packages and they have the slip covers over the top of them to tell you what is in the set. This was my museum set. This is the first one I bought. When I bought them the first time, now I have purchased all mine on sale. And then I've also gotten a discount, I think. So mine were a little less expensive than they would normally be. So watch for sales, because they do have them pretty often. I think they put stuff on sale pretty much every time they come out with a new kit, a new uh, set. And so I've gotten all four of my, sale, my sets on sale, so it can be done. Now, again, packaging. They come in these lovely little packages in this box like this. And then you have everything you need in here. You originally, when you get it, all of the canvases are in here. And then on the top, you have the toolkit, all the stuff that you need. You can refer to my unboxing if you need that. I'm actually gonna save these boxes because uh, I'm gonna be moving and I can put lots of cool things in here that will travel well. So I'm gonna save all mine because I'm actually getting ready to do another one of these sets. So you, I got, 10 canvases in this particular one. I think some of them come with 12. I think 12 is pretty much their standard now, but this particular one came with 10. Like I said, I got this one on sale and I had a discount, so it was only $31.92 for the set. Now, that sounds pricey probably. You get 10, so that's what, $3.20 for each canvas, which again, maybe sounds a little pricey because you can get a whole 30 by 40 for that probably on a lot of the inexpensive sites, but I do enjoy them. I like the fact that they're this small. The canvas size is around six by nine, the actual drill field size, and they are full drill. So there were 30 total colors in this one among the 10. Not every color was in every kit or in, in every painting, obviously, on every canvas. It is poured glue, but they work up really quickly and they were a lot of fun. I do have to say that I think the black drills were pretty trashy, but other than that, I think they turn out really well. So here is, and they give you the names of all of them. This one is the Great Wave off of Kanagawa. Then we have this one, which is the uh, composition, modern composition one. And I kept all of the little um, cover sheets just because I was stacking these up. This one is a Picasso called The Dream, I think. And then we have Klimt's The Kiss. I'm hoping you guys can see all those. I'll zoom out more in a minute. And then we've got The Girl with the Pearl Earring. I really liked that one. This one was a lot of fun to do. It's actually kind of interesting, just the process of sitting down and kind of going through and figuring out. You know, this one was pretty simple. It's just blocks of color, but trying to figure out how they made it look like the kiss or the dream with just this very small six by nine centimeter canvas was interesting. So here we have Edvard Munch's The Scream. We have... Let me find another vertical one. This one was my husband's favorite. This one was called The Son of Man. And I've actually seen this picture in a lot of places, but. And then of course we have Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. We have Van Gogh's Sunflowers. And then we have an odd number. I wanted another vertical one, but this one is horizontal as well, uh, which is uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night. So I guess, you know, two Van Goghs. I just thought it was really fun. Uh, I mean, again, I was able to do this on an airplane. Uh, Crystal recommended to me, and I will be doing this if I travel on a plane anytime soon and I'm working on any of these, to use some washi tape or something or some double-sided tape to stick them to your plane tray table so that it doesn't move around. That way your free hand, you've got both hands to kind of 
because I was diamond painting directly from, I forgot a tray, so I was diamond painting directly from the containers. Not my preferred method, but it worked. And then I got to finish, I was working on the Mona Lisa on the plane. And then I basically finished most of the rest of these at the cottage, looking out at the water, which was amazing. So yeah, I, I started these on the 12th and I finished them all on the 15th. So it took me three days, but it only took about five hours to finish all of these. And I'm sure on some of the other ones, you know, these are more, uh, what do I want to say? There's more drills on these, I think, because it ends up filling up that whole six by nine centimeter space. Whereas if I'm doing my rainbow set or my doggy set, it's just kind of a, a cutout. So it'd be like doing the flowers with just the flowers and not the table here and none of the blue background. So I think my other sets are gonna go faster than this one, but I do really love how they turned out. Now, then the question for me is, what do I do with these? Because I have 10 of these and they're so small, you know, my normal portfolio holds 30 by 40s. Uh, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out my black card stock and I'm going to trim all these down to get rid of all the white around them. And then I'm gonna try and see if I can fit all 10 of these on one, maybe two pieces of card stock. Like I definitely wanna put all three of the horizontal ones. Well, maybe, hmm. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna arrange it yet, but I, I, they're gonna go in my portfolio. You could probably get some, you know, little frames if you wanted to. I did some searching on Amazon. What I wanted was like a collage frame, you know, where you get a whole bunch of openings in one big framed painting that I could hang up so I could hang up all of these. I didn't find anything because I'm in the US, frame sizes are in inches and trying to convert, you know, six by nine centimeters is great. It's nice, it's smooth, but then when you try to convert it to inches, it's point something something and, trying to figure out, especially with frames, if the size that they're telling you is the mat size, opening size, if it's the actual opening size and whatnot. So I just decided for me personally, I'm just going to put them in my portfolio. That's easy for me anyway, and yeah. And then if I wanna frame my doggos later, I think I've got some options for that. But these, because they fill the whole six by nine, I found some frames that are made for with your kids, you know, you have all of their school pictures, so grades one through 12, and then you are one through 11 or something, and then you have their final graduation picture, a bigger one on the side. But if I could find something like that for like the doggos or the rainbow set that I'm gonna do, I think that would work. I don't think that will work for this one because it fills the whole six by nine. So these are just gonna go in my portfolio. But yeah, really, really quick, really fun, and, I was actually working on another canvas while I was working on these. And so what I would do was, you know, work on that canvas for a bit. And then I'd be like, oh, I'm going to just do these. Because, you know, in five hours to do 10 of these, so roughly half an hour to finish one. And I think they do a really good job of, you know, within the confines of that small six by nine, making it look like the original painting. Some liberties, of course, but I think they all turned out really well. And like I said, except for the fact that the black drills were kind of trashy, I think they all turned out really well. So if I, if I bring this a little closer, you can see, I mean, they do fit all really nicely together. I took some close-ups of these and I put them on my Instagram. Uh, so if you wanna go check those out. But yeah, I mean, there, there are a few issues here and there with gapping and things like that. But for the most part, I think it turned out really well. Like if you look at this one up close on all of his little gray suit and everything, I just think they turned out really well. And it was fun to kind of pick, okay, you know, oh, I just have a quick 30 minutes. Let me do this one where I don't really have to think about anything because it's just these big blocks of color versus the Mona Lisa or the flowers or the kiss or even these two uh, where it's more confetti than anything else. You know, this one, for example, it had some, some big places where her skin is and everything that was kind of color blocking. But then we have this checkerboard up here and also in the screen here, you know, the, the bridge or whatever that's supposed to be, you've got um, a bunch of confetti there. And of course the, the coat on the kiss, the blanket, whatever is a bunch of confetti. But yeah, I had a ton of fun. I really love them. I know some people have had bad experiences with them. I, I can't speak to that because I haven't. I've just ordered, like I said, the two sets. I got this set and my doggy set at the same time. And then 
when the rainbow set came out i got that and the ocean set when they were both on sale and they have a ton of them they've got a tattoo set they've got a plant set i think they have a like a valentine's day set so at some point i probably will go through and start maybe kind of collecting all of these yeah i will definitely wait until they were on sale i will stick a link down below to the paint gem website where you can go check out all of their kits i enjoyed them i would recommend getting them as long as you don't mind paying a little bit more than usual like i said i know they're a little bit pricey uh, for some people but if you can afford them and you like these little quick wins and you know maybe you could even get some quick i want you could probably make like washi tape frames for these or something maybe i'll give that a go we'll see that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Okay, guys, just a quick little update here at the end that, yeah, I put them all on my little cardboard backing before I put them in my portfolio. I did decide to turn this one to be vertical rather than horizontal. Don't know if that's how it's meant to be, but it's abstract and it looks fine that way, so it doesn't matter. And I got them all on one page. So now I'm gonna stick these in my portfolio and off to the next project.